Hi, Bill from CJ Pony Parts. We recently started the modifications to our 2011 Mustang with the Roush axle back system. Now that our Mustang's sounding right, it's time to get it shifting right as well. The factory shifter leaves a lot to be desired, so today we're going to upgrade to a Barton shifter and their matching two post bracket. Both the shifter and the bracket are made in the USA using only the highest quality 6061 billet aluminum and 304 stainless steel. The shifter is going to reduce throws by approximately 40%. Well, the bracket's going to decrease the flexion, making the shifter a lot more accurate. The two-post bracket is sold in kit form with the shifter. It is also available separately. If you want to keep your stock shifter, adding the bracket is going to decrease the flexion, which will still make the car shift a lot nicer. We do suggest using the bracket with the shifter for the ultimate performance. For this installation, you'll need a jack and jack stands or lift, 3 8 ratchet, 12-inch extension, 10-millimeter deep socket, 3 8 shallow socket, half-inch wrench, flat blade screwdriver or small pry bar, and safety glasses. We're going to start the installation inside the car by removing the factory shift knob. Our car has an aftermarket Boss 302 knob installed on it. So don't screw counterclockwise, making it pretty simple to remove. If you have a factory Boss 302, many times this knob is actually Loctited on, at which point you want to bolt it from the bottom. Now we're going to remove the top plate of the console, open up the rear storage, I'm going to pull up from the back. Slide the boot off and then unplug your trunk release and the traction control. And set it aside. Now we're going to pull back the sound deadening. Then remove the shifter seal. These four bolts get removed to pull the shifter out of the car. The bottom right bolt is pretty hidden by the transmission tunnel. We're going to remove the bracket down below to give us a little more play. We're going to remove the two nuts that hold on the bracket. Now we're ready to remove our stock bracket. On the passenger side, there'll be a little retaining clip. You'll have to remove that as well to get the bracket off. Now we can slide the bracket off the back of the shifter assembly. Here you can see a comparison between the stock shifter bracket and the piece by Barton. Even without changing the shifter, you can tell this is going to make a big difference. Changing the shifter, it's getting much shorter throws as well. Now that we remove the shifter bracket, the four bolts remove our stock shifter, much easier to access. We can pull the shifter and replace it with our Barton. Let's get the bolts out, pull the shifter straight up and straight off. Here again, you can see a huge difference in quality between the Barton shifter and our stock shifter. The stock one's a thin metal plate, the plastic trim ring. Barton's a much beefier unit to give us much more positive shifts. Before we install the new shifter, you have to pull this plastic cup off the stock one and transfer it over. And you're ready to install. I want to make sure when installing the new shifter that this plastic cup fits into this opening in the transmission. And we're ready to bolt it down. We can reinstall the original bolts. Let's get them started and tighten them down. These tend to strip very easily, so you want to get them snug, make sure you don't over crank them. Now we can go install our bracket. You want to install it with the Barton facing the back end of the car. You also need to remove this piece here first, 
and install just the top half of the bracket. Slide the bracket up into place to the top of the tail of our shifter. And push it up onto the original stud. Now we're holding it in place, we'll reinstall the original retaining nuts. You don't want to tighten these down all the way, just get them tight enough to hold it in place. And we're going to install the lower part of the bracket. Again, just get them hand tight for now. Now we'll tighten down the nuts that are holding the bracket to the floor. Now you want to tighten down the two bolts for the lower part of the bracket. Now we're ready to move back to the interior. Now we're ready to install our lower shift boot. This step may not seem terribly important, but if this isn't seated properly, it's gonna really affect the performance of the shifter. This ring here must be installed around the machine groove built into the shifter. We can put our sound deadening back into place. And we're gonna reinstall the top of our console. Don't forget to plug in the switches again. Now for the last step, reinstall your shift knob. And our installation is finished. Shifter feels good, but the only way to really test the performance, take it for a test drive. Barton's a huge improvement over the stock shifter. It goes in the gear real easily. Throws are nice and short as well. Since it's the boss's car, we want to take it easy. A Barton shifter performed exactly as advertised. Short, crisp shifts and no noticeable increase in noise or vibration. Installation should take you no more than around two hours. You'll be back on the road in no time.